Hey everyone, this is Ninjax doing my second point of view video for you guys. Seems like you guys really like the first one, so I'm gonna make more. You guys can look forward to more videos. And if this is the first time watching, this is about a series where I show you how a player thinks during the game. And it's all live, no replays, all live. Here we go, Zerk versus Random. On Shakur's Plateau. Now the thing is, since he's random, I have to get a scout early to see what he's doing because my opener might differ depending on who he is. For example, if he's a Zerg and he's, you know, 7 pulling, obviously that changes, that's different. Now against random, most of the time it's going to be a fast expand because sometimes I'm not going to see who he is in time and I just have to blindly throw down a fast expand because it's good against Terra and it's fine against Zerg and it's good versus Protoss. And you hope it works out. Sometimes it bites you in the back because you fast expand blindly because you're not exactly sure what race he is and uh, he might be a Protoss with a Forge and he cannons my base and I go sad. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Zerg versus Zerg. Alright. Now like last time, I'm gonna 14 hatchery. 14 pool. Looks like a 14 pool. Without gas. So we went pool first and then I'm gonna assume he's gonna follow it up with gas. But he's not. So why would he not get gas but go pool first? Because he can't really put pressure on me without gas. You need speedlings, you need banelings to actually kill somebody. Did he expand? No, he did not expand. So why did he 14 pool? And not get gas. We require more minerals. Okay, now he's getting gas. That's really delayed. So I feel like it's gonna be some kind of roach timing attack, and he's gonna skip. What the fuck? Double gas. Hmm. And he throws out a roach horn. So some kind of one base roach attack. One base roach attack. So I'm gonna respond by getting a couple more spines, and he either goes all in or he expands behind it. If he expands behind it, I'm gonna be ahead unless he deals significant economic damage. And let's hope that doesn't happen. Get my spine. We require more minerals. And another spine. Now since he's not getting speedlings, I can probably head out without the fear of getting surrounded by speedlings. He lets me sneak in, so is he getting a layer? No layer. And yep. This is really weird for me. I haven't seen anything like this. A delayed gas and he gets double gas and then he gets roaches. Very, very weird. One more spine. Eject. Still not pushing, huh? I feel like his timing of actually killing me is closing. 
if he wants to attack me, he has to do it a little bit sooner. Because now my defenses are getting a little bit more solid. And I got some transfuses saved up. Get my gases. And... Hmm. Why is he still not pushing? This is so weird. I don't understand what timing he's planning to kill me. Let's go... One, two, three, four, five roaches. And he's like sending a little bit out at a time. So... Okay, now now looks like he's coming for me. Pull it back. I'm gonna wait for my roach one to be done. And then roach, 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 roach. Ling, 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 ling. And I'm supply block because I'm pro. Okay, those are, those are the roaches. It's a lot of roaches. I do have three spines, and three spines are good. And now it's all reinforcing. It's going all in. So he's not expanding behind us. He is going all in. And uh, let's see how he does. Not breaking. You gotta break me, man. You can't expand behind us, it's too late. We require more minerals. So he's just gonna back off? Are you kidding me? Well We require more, right, more roaches. We require more minerals. No kind of transfuse. Oh, I missed my transfuse there. My queen was out of position. Yo, I defended this. I'm gonna go to layer now. Okay, I don't see how you can follow this. You made a bunch of roaches, you tried to attack me, you did zero economic damage, and now you do not have an expansion. You can go to Mutas. But he already spent so much gas on roaches, and if you want to go Muta, he's not going to have a lot. So my three queens can defend that quite easily. Let's get the Evo Chamber, so in case he is going for Muta, I can drop down spores. At the same time, I can upgrade. And, uh, drone, 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 drone. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice my overload and see what's up, because he can't just sit here. He has to be planning something to win this game, or he's just an idiot. Alright, the layer is done. Give him upgrades. Give him upgrades. And... Let's see what's up. Where's my evolution chamber? I didn't make it. Okay, now he's going layer. So... What could he do with a lair? He can go Muta. He can do some kind of burrowed roaches gimmicky stuff. But I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna make overseers. And if he's going Muta, I feel like it's gonna be too late. His lair just finished. And if he starts to spire now, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him before the mutas even kick in. So now, I'm gonna build more roaches, get ready for the attack, and uh, he's probably gonna die. Roaches, roaches. Alright, let's go. Did expand. He did expand in such a weird position that I didn't see. Interesting. But I don't see how you can hold this. So 
now just spam roaches and what, look at this. This is such sloppy play. You see my army and you should double expand. I guess you have to take a risk, but it all comes down to his initial build. It was just so weird. It was a very delayed roach push and the timing was just weird. It's not a timing where anybody's weak. So the roaches are gonna snipe some investors. And this is just cleanup, yo. This is just cleanup. What the heck is this? Yep, GG. Okay, guys. I hope you liked it. I was hoping for a ZVT or a ZVP. You know what? I might do another video today. So stay tuned for that. See you guys next time. Bye.